Arnie Tevez hindi raw affected at lalo pang inasal si Rimulia sa kanyang latest video na nasayaw. Narito atin itong panoorin at komentuhan. Sa sayaw, idinaan ni suspended congressman Arnolfo Tevez sa akusasyon ng DOJ na isa siyang terorista. Ayon naman kay Justice Secretary Boying Rimulia, dapat makarating sa Korte Suprema ang inaasal ni Tevez sa social media. Hiro ni Tevez, ang pagsasayaw niya ang pinakabago raw training ng mga terorista. Ipinagkibit-balikat naman niya ni Rimulia, hindi niya raw napanood ang video. Hindi siya tamang lugar para ipaliwanag ang mga kaso na. Ang tamang lugar para ipaliwanag ang kaso na nito ay sa usgado, tsaka dito sa DOJ sa preliminary investigation. Dagdag pa ng kalihim, dapat maiparating sa Korte Suprema ang inaasal ni Tevez sa social media. Talagang naasar ni Tevez si Rimulia. Ayan, gusto na tuloy ipakita sa Supreme Court para daw maparusahan sa inaasal niya. Itong si Tevez, puro pang nainis na lang ang ginagawa. Wala ata talagang balak umuwi dito sa bansa. Sa ngayon, pinoproseso na raw ng Anti-Terrorism Council ang inihaing petisyon ng DOJ para ituring na terorista si Tevez. Ilan sa naging basihan ni Remulia ang serye ng mga patayan at pananakot sa Negros Oriental na umano'y kagagawan ng grupo ni Congressman Tevez. Nakapaghain na rin ng ebidensya ang NBI sa Anti-Terrorism Council at magkakaroon pa raw ng pulong kaugnay dito. Base sa huling impormasyon ng DOJ, nasa Timor-Leste pa rin daw si Tevez. Ayaw pa rin umuwi na bansa ng kongresista dahil sa aniay banta sa kanyang buhay. It is my honor to report to this August body the result of the committee's investigation relative to the moto proprio action of the Committee on Ethics and Privileges on the matter of the acts of Representative Arnulfo Arnie A. Tibis Jr. of the 3rd District of Negros Oriental constituting disorderly behavior and violative of the Code of Conduct. We all know that our colleague have, has been imposed by this August body the penalty of 60-day suspension last 22 March 2023 for disorderly behavior. After service of the penalty, our colleague, Representative A. Tebis Jr., remains abroad fails to perform his duties and responsibilities as member of the House of Representatives and commits acts detrimental to the House of Representatives and its members. Hence, the committee for the second time around exercise its motu proprio authority to assume jurisdiction over his continuous unauthorized absences in the House of Representatives. As the guardian of the moral foundation of our institution, where our purpose is to protect and maintain the dignity, integrity, and reputation of our institution, the committee exercises its authority to recommend any action or remedial measures that will vindicate the authority and dignity of the House of Representatives. As a public officer, Representative A. Tibis Jr. is held to higher ethical standards because public office is a public trust. Buka namang walang pakailam si Tevez kung masuspindi man siya o matanggal, basta andun siya nagtatago sa ibang bansa. Si Joe mga ano noon, di ba, hindi mahuli-huli kasi nasa ibang bansa. It is crucial for a public official to uphold the public trust to remain in public service. The acts of Representative A. Tevis Jr. cast serious doubts upon his ability to maintain the trust and perform his duties with integrity and uprightness expected for a public official. As the chairperson of the Committee on Ethics and Privileges and the designated person to sponsor its committee report, we present this August body the committee's recommendation on the aforementioned case after conducting a rigid and exhaustive investigation that started on the 23 May 2023 and concluded on 29 May 2023. After having notified and warned Representative A.T.B. Jr. and after two meetings and an intensive, arduous investigation, the members of the committee have carefully analyzed and scrutinized 
the evidence submitted and presented before the committee as well as the testimonies of our resource persons from other government agencies became the basis of the committee report. It is important to emphasize that the committee has exercised prudence and a high degree of restraint in recommending sanctions against Representative A.T. Bis Jr., recognizing the significance of fair treatment and due process, and a due deference to the people of the 3rd District of Negros Oriental, the committee has carefully considered the circumstances surrounding Representative A. Tibis Jr.'s action and has not rushed to judgment or resorted to extreme measures in response to his transgressions. Instead, it has taken a measured approach taking into account the gravity, frequency, and frequency of Representative A.T. Bis Jr.'s misconduct. Indeed, the outcome of this investigation was on the basis of substantial evidence that is corroborated with testimonial and documentary pieces of evidence. Dami pang pasikot-sikot, ang atin lang naman kung masususpindi lang si Teves, pwede pa yung bumalik. Alay pagtuluyan ng tanggalin na lang, kasi kung wala naman siyang talagang kasalanan, mali pa rin na iwanan niyang trabaho niya bilang house member. Kung sa regular nga na trabaho, pag nag-awal ka, automatic tanggal ka, di ba? Dapat ganun din dito. The committee established these facts and circumstances during the investigation and it is for this August chamber to decide whether or not to adopt our recommendation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Committee on Ethics and Privileges hereby find that the unauthorized absences of Representative Arnie Tibis Jr., aggravated by his act of seeking political asylum in Timor Leste, resulted in his failure to perform his duties as House member under Section 7, Rule 2, and violated the Code of Conduct as set forth in Section 142, Paragraph A and B, Rule 20 of the Rules of the House of Representatives. His action and all its consequences have compromised the integrity of the House of Representatives and constitute disorderly behavior warranting disciplinary action. After a thorough discussion and deliberation, the Committee on Ethics and Privileges recommends to the House of Representatives the imposition of the following penalties. One, a 60-day suspension for violation of Section 142, Paragraph A and B of the Rules of the House of Representatives and for disorderly behavior. As a consequence, all his rights and privileges as member of the House of Representatives covering the said period are likewise, are likewise suspended. And two, the forfeiture of all committee memberships of Representative Arnulfo Arni Atibis Jr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and my colleagues. At yun nga mga kaibigan, ano sa palagay nyo dito sa issue ni Teves sa Trimulian na ito? Maaari lang magkomento sa ibaba at huwag kakalimutang i-click ang like at subscribe. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood.